Hello again. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudebia Palace. The cabinet noted the address given by His Majesty the King on the occasion of the start of the 2023 to 2024 academic year, which reflects His Majesty's ongoing support for the education sector in furthering the kingdom's sustainable development, adding that the address encouraged educational and administrative staff to enhance educational efforts and students to strive for excellence and achievements. The Cabinet commended the winners of the UNESCO King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education. It highlighted the importance of the award in showcasing the Kingdom's commitment to supporting UNESCO's efforts in the development of global educational projects, which follows the Cabinet's review of a report submitted by the Minister of Education in this regard. In recognition of the International Day of Democracy, the Cabinet noted Bahrain's ongoing national development attributed to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Following the devastating earthquake that took place in Morocco, the Cabinet commended the directive of His Majesty the King to provide urgent relief aid to those affected by the earthquake and expressed its sincere condolences to His Majesty King Mohammed VI, the government, the relatives of the victims and the people of Morocco, and wished the injured a speedy recovery. The Cabinet then hailed the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud's announcement of the India Middle East to Europe Economic Corridor during His Royal Highness's speech at the G20 summit in India. The Cabinet emphasised that the Economic Corridor would strengthen global economic interdependence and create promising opportunities for Bahrain and the region. The Cabinet also commended the Saudi Crown Prince's announcement of the establishment of a global water organisation based in Riyadh and reaffirmed Bahrain's support for increased international cooperation in water sustainability, including its recent hosting of the Global Water Energy and Climate Change Congress under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memorandums during the meeting. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law approving Bahrain's accession to the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a number of draft MOUs concerning political consultations between Bahrain and a number of countries. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a memorandum of understanding between Bahrain Polytechnic and WISC International's training centres. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to three proposals and one draft law submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Community Services regarding the outcomes of implementing the outdoor work ban during the 2023 summer afternoon hours. The memorandum outlined a 99.9 commitment to the designated work ban during summer afternoon hours. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Sustainable Development regarding preparations for Bahrain's participation in the Sustainable Development Goals Summit which will be held on the sidelines of the meetings of the United Nations General Assembly this month. In addition, the Cabinet took note of the ministerial report regarding the official visit of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications to Saudi Arabia. The Bahrain Council for Health Studies and Specialities, in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and Tamkeen, announced the launch of a resident doctor programme. The Arab Board and Saudi Board, through which admission to training vacancies for academic year 2023-24 to will open in various specialities of medicine. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health and Chairman of Bahrain Council for Medical Studies and Specialities, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain gives considerable attention to the health sector and seeks sustainability and excellence in providing health services in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He added that the government of Bahrain is keen to increase the capacity for medical training and provide appropriate opportunities for them, 
noting that applications for training vacancies will be open from today until the 17th of this month. The Minister of Health, Dr Jalila Hassan, affirmed the limited support that the Kingdom provides to national cadres, noting that the launch of the Doctor Resident Programme will contribute to training more doctors to achieve the desired goals. The CEO of Tamkeen, Maha Mafez, also affirmed that the programme represents part of Tamkeen's commitment to developing national cadres, especially in the health sector, and creating more opportunities to train and qualify Bahrainis to make them the best choice in the labour market. The President of the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the closing session of the 34th International Conference of the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs in Egypt. The conference was held under the title A Cyberspace and Modern Means of Religious Speech Between Rational Use and Deviating from Seriousness under the patronage of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. The conference recommended the launch of a national project to build correct and rational digital content in the field of religious discourse, with a contemporary vision that maintains the constants and takes into account modern developments, as well as to work to enhance participatory use of cyberspace and expand training programmes on the safe use of social networking sites and artificial intelligence. The conference called for the expansion of the establishment of colleges and departments of artificial intelligence and College of Online Sharia Sciences and support for scientific research in the field of artificial intelligence, cybersecurity and modern technologies in the cognitive and cultural field in general and the field of advocacy and religious discourse in particular. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the GCC Secretary General, Jazm Al Bidrayal. The Minister stressed the importance of building on common GCC achievements to attain further aspirations and accomplishments, healing the support of GCC leaders, which would benefit all member countries. He commended the efforts made by the GCC General Secretariat to further reinforce cooperation towards meeting joint aspirations and interests. During the meeting, the two sides discussed ways of further bolstering economic and financial cooperation. Other issues of common interest were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy met in the presence of the GCC Secretary General, the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, and the Head of GCC Chambers of Commerce. The Finance Minister affirmed that the private sector plays a pivotal role in development and spurring growth, noting the importance of building and achievements within the common GCC march to serve joint interests and benefit all member states. The Minister commended the GCC joint integration and coordination, which contributes to achieving aspirations and desired goals, healing the role of the Chambers of Industry and Commerce in representing these sectors. He noted the crucial role of the private sector in spurring economic growth, despite mounting global challenges. He stressed the importance of expanding cooperation between the public sector and private sector, represented by the Federation of GCC Chambers in order to turn challenges into opportunities and adopt initiatives that boost joint ties. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr Mohammed bin Dana, participated in the 25th meeting of members responsible for climate affairs in GCC countries held in Oman. Dr Bendena affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen cooperation and unify the stances of GCC countries at various international environmental gatherings, healing the important and constructive decisions taken by GCC ministers responsible for environment affairs during the previous meetings, which contributed to enhancing the GCC environment action towards achieving sustainable development goals in the region. He extended sincere thanks and appreciation to GCC leaders for the support to strengthening joint GCC action. He commended the ongoing GCC efforts to preserve the environment and address climate change, paying tribute to the GCC Secretariat General's committees and staff for constant cooperation and keenness to push joint GCC action forward.
The Minister of Education, Dr Mohamed Juma, revealed the application for acceleration exams to open from today until the 17th of September. The Minister stated that acceleration processes are limited to first, second and third grade students and that the goal of holding the exams is to give students the opportunity to join their peers of the same age group. The Minister of Education affirmed that these exams are optional and require filling out a special form that will be provided by the school, after which the students will be subjected to evaluation processes that include a number of basic skills. The Minister stated that the role of the Ministry of Education is to conduct evaluations and determine the student's qualification for acceleration and to transfer the students to the higher grade when the skill requirements are met. Bahrain International Airport moved to the third level in the Airport Customer Experience Accreditation granted by the Airports Council International, the ACI, in recognition for its continuous efforts in providing a distinguished experience for all travellers and visitors. The certificate was received by the head of the Customer Experience Department at Bahrain Airport Company, Salam Amatawa, and a number of members of the department at the ACI Customer Experience Global Summit, which was held in South Korea. The achievement places Bahrain International Airport among the ranks of the advanced airports globally in the field of customer experience and it affirms the strong reputation of providing the highest specifications and standards of services and facilities for a remarkable travel experience. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, announced a strategic partnership in hosting a three-on-three -three Basketball World Cup in cooperation between the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the Bahrain Basketball Association and the International Basketball Federation. The hosting affirms Bahrain's distinguished capabilities, advanced infrastructure and modern sports facilities and its distinction in hosting major international tournaments in various sports. BTEA is also exerting efforts to promote this major sporting event through various media outlets inside and outside the kingdom to ensure the highest attendance rate for the global tour. Bahrain Bosch received a prestigious award as the best sustainable market in GCC countries for the year 2023 by World Finance magazine. The CEO of Bahrain Bosch, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, affirmed that this award highlights the serious efforts towards achieving sustainability, the sound business practices in capital markets, as well as its contribution to enhancing credibility in the market. In following up on the implementation of His Majesty's directives to dispatch urgent humanitarian aid to Morocco following the earthquake that hit several regions of the country, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, is set to dispatch the first relief aid consignment to quake-hit Moroccans. The RHF Secretary General, Dr Mustafa Sayed, stated that the Foundation, with the support of the Government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and with the follow-up of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is preparing to send the first humanitarian relief aid to be dispatched as soon as possible this week, in coordination with competent authorities in Morocco. He commended the initiative of the BDF Commander-in-Chief regarding cooperation with the RHF to provide all necessary logistic assistance. He noted that the Foundation, led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, will spare no effort to support a quake-affected people and help alleviate their suffering. <laughs> 